book that me and Beth did together, that we talked about people summoning UFOs or the ability to summon UFOs. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip from that video for you right now. From the great beyond. Beth, you know, after this news report, let's go out onto the deck here with some recording equipment and I'm going to call out for a UFO and we'll, we'll put the result on. Well, maybe we could tell people about that camping trip and there was an attempt. Are you comfortable talking about that? Well, I think we can save that for another day, but I, I would like to, <laughs> uh, let, let's, let's take our video recording equipment. Let's see if we can call a UFO and we'll put an update here on our channel soon. So there it is. And at the end of this news report, we're going to be playing the video of what happened when we tried to summon a UFO. The results are astounding. I can't wait to show you. Our first sighting today takes us to Waller in Texas. And this guy was actually going out to his vehicle to grab a phone charger when he noticed some lights out of the corner of his eye in a field where there are usually cows. And he took his phone and started recording a video and took some photographs of this strange object that was traversing its way across this field. And we've heard a lot about animal mutilation and all sorts of stuff, especially in Texas. I'm gonna go ahead here and roll the video for you. Okay, so there it is, this strange light making its way across the field here in Waller in Texas. It has a population of about 2,400 people. It's a small little city, uh, I guess, in, in Texas. Uh, what could that be? Again, these lights are being seen everywhere right now. Thanks very much for that video footage. And if you have any idea or you were in that area at the time and you saw something else, in Texas, then of course, as always, write to us here at shedshowtalk at gmail.com. All right, on exciting takes us to London. Check this one out, guys. We have a plane in the air that is being followed by several orbs. This guy was actually walking to a cafe when he looked up in the sky and he saw this plane and took these photographs of these orbs in trail following this plane, keeping up to the speed and just tracking uh, this aircraft and we've seen this a lot in fact we've reported two or three times over the last month of these orbs following our aircraft in the sky so if you're taking a flight anywhere make sure that you've got something to record check outside the window and if you see anything in the air in the airspace around your plane that looks like it shouldn't be there record it and send it into us because it's really interesting that all of these aircraft are, are being followed and, and observed uh, from whatever these crafts around it are, whatever these balls of light from around it are. Our next report comes from Kentucky in Lexington. And this lady says that this sighting, this object appears once in a blue moon in the sky. And she was actually once sat in her vehicle and she was flashing her lights at it and it would flash back at her and she feels that she's almost connected in some strange way to this object. It moves very slowly across the sky, but much faster than what a planet or a star would traverse across the sky. So let's have a listen to her uh, talking about this object a little bit here. Volcano, and, um, and they were looking down at the volcano, and there was a smiley face that... That was like looked like it was drawn, you know, a a big smiley face in in the, in the volcano down on the, in the you know when they were like up in a helicopter or something looking down on it, and it looked like a big giant smiley face. It was a trip, uh, and I thought, oh my god, like really? <laughs> but you know, I don't take these things. I just don't know. I mean, and because of the fact that it's not moving up and down, it never attracts attention. 
it's always like stationary and it just moves very slowly down 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 until it'll start up you know way up there and then it comes down I've never seen a star do that you know that goes starts up you know it was it's it's never even that high either but um like it starts off at maybe 4,000 feet uh if even that and then it goes down so there you go at first you hear her talking about a volcano and that's actually in reference to her drawing a smiley face on her vehicle window and then she actually sees that in a sighting where a ufo was involved in a sighting at a volcano the same smiley face that she'd written in her window so what do you guys think to that is this uh, looking for her is it searching for her is, is it something that's looking over her or guarding her who knows interesting object there and you know what if you're in lexington look up into the night sky every once in a while see if you can see what this lady is describing there and send it into us let us know what you think it could be is it a satellite who knows what this is our next reporting takes us to Calgary, Alberta. This is a Shed Show Talk exclusive. In our last video that me and Beth did together on the 22nd of March, the UFO News, we said we were going to go out onto the back deck of my house and call out for UFOs, and that's what we did. So we were actually facing west at the time from Calgary. Here's a picture of the night sky and out the back of my house here uh, and you can see that there's some lights on the horizon there uh, and there's some lights in the sky so we started first of all by taking a couple of pictures and we started calling out for unidentified flying objects and i'm going to play the video from when we started recording it there was some lights flashing in the sky and they were you can barely make it out on the video but you can make them out on the video so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to play it but then what happened after that, I, I'm going to roll the video. So we've been calling out for, there it is, right there. Yeah. We've been calling out for the UFOs, as we said we would in our video. And we are now getting some strange, you won't even believe this, we're getting some strange phenomena in an area where I've had the camera focused. Are you getting anything on your video on your phone? Yeah, we're checking for planets and things, and I'm not seeing a planet. It's under, it's in between two star constellations, and I'll tell you what, it's under uh, Lepus, and what's the other constellation here? Uh, Orion. It's between Lepus and Orion. This is unreal. Okay, come on, come and show yourself to us, and we want to be able to show you to the world, so if you can come, come in a bit cleaner make yourself a little bit more obvious to us it, it was funny because i was just getting you to check out whatever the brighter star is that we see there huh like i don't know if well, i can you see that streak just before you turned on the camera it was above orion's belt and yeah. it came down oh look i just saw another light up there just to the right here yeah. of the belt now from what i understand there's his belt, and over there would be his hand. Oh, do you see that? No. Just to the right. You see how the cloud ends? Mm-hmm. Did and you catch that on camera? I hope so. Look, I can see it. Like there's a there's a light that's pulsating. Well, I see the pulsating light, but I'm not sure if it's new or. You're it was, saying it's new? Yeah, and it was moving. Well, the fellow in the video called one, and it came close into view. So can we try that? Yes. Let's just keep your eyes in this part of the sky right now. Whoa, okay. did you see that one up over here? <laughs> yeah. Come oh, up. No, what's up I didn't over there? Oh, I didn't see this one working. here. But come in closer to us. It was just below uh, Gemini there, below uh, Alhina. And you guys, you can hear some road noise. We're not far from a highway, but we are out of the city. So we do have very clear optics this evening. Beautiful, beautiful night sky. Mm -hmm. and, and what we want to see now is, is we actually want to see something that we can video record. So uh, to the beings of light, uh, if you're out there and you're responding to 
our thoughts here. We would actually really like to share with you, uh, mm. with the world. We'd like to share, share this sighting with the world. So give us a really nice, clear sighting that we can get on camera. We'd like you to come in closer. What's up there? Oh, we've got a... Oh my goodness. We've got an orb in the sky here. Can you record that? I'm trying to. I can't even see it on my camera. Oh my goodness me. And you know what? It's not a satellite list. Okay, stop. Come in closer to us. Come oh, on. Come closer to fine. us. Wow, this is just really... And you know what? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness you know me. What? It's in the opposite location of the International Space Oh, I'm Station. sorry. I'm it's okay. I just got tripod <laughs> I just We have the, the camera here on a tripod. Look at that. Well, anything in orbit just shouldn't be going this way around. No, and the International Space Station, Paul, is over there. Oh. So it's in the opposite direction to what we saw. And I just tracked, actually, there's some Chinese satellites that are also appearing on the app. And there it is. Not in that position either. Just flying through, just that flying through the sky. Oh, it's coming back. Do you see? Look. Do you see that? Oh. Look, it's coming this way. Do you see it? No, I'm. Oh. Okay. See on the horizon. There's the fixed point. Look. Yeah. It's coming this way slowly. Oh wow. Do you see that? It it just stopped. Oh well, please. Oh, it please. is. I wish the camera would work a little bit better. I can't I don't, see it. I don't know if we're getting footage on this camera, but I'm telling you now that we're. We've, we've called that out. That was cool. Did you see it? It went towards that fixed point, stopped, came backwards. We've, we've called out here for some <laughs> extraterrestrial activity. Wow, can you believe that? It's unreal. We went outside, we called for these UFOs to show themselves, and you can see here in this picture, this is the initial light that I put out to Beth that's pulsating and moving around in the distance. And then Beth says, can you get it to come in a little bit closer as you can hear in the video? And I call for it and almost instantly, this orb shows up over our head. So I get the camera, I spin it around. I actually hit Beth with the tripod. Sorry, Beth. And this orb comes flying in to the view. And then again, I call for it to come closer in the video. And it does, it's just incredible. The orb stops in the sky and starts coming back towards us. Unreal. Never thought that this would happen, but it was just all perfect timing. It was as if it could hear me asking it to do things, and it responded. It was incredible. I'm going to play the section of the video again where this comes into view. I'm just still starstruck by what happened after us calling for it. Here's the video again. We'd like you to come in closer. What's up there? Oh, we've got a... Oh my goodness. We've got an orb in the <laughs> sky here. Can you record that? I'm trying to. I can't even see it on my camera. Oh my goodness me. And you know what? It's not a satellite list. Okay, stop. Come in closer to us. Oh, come on. Come closer to fine. us. Wow, this is just really... And you know what? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness you know me. What? It's in the opposite location of the International Space Oh, I'm Station. sorry. I'm... It's okay. I just got tripod. <laughs> I just... We have the, the camera here on a tripod. Look at that. Well, anything in orbit just shouldn't be going this way around. There we go. Incredible footage right there of our own sighting after calling out for these UFOs. If you're going to do this, we really want you to exercise caution, uh, but make sure you do take a camera out there with you and video every moment of it uh, and send it to us here at shedshowtalk at gmail.com. Again, that's shedshowtalk at gmail.com. Thanks for watching our video all the way to the end here. Me and Beth really appreciate it. And we're really getting to the bottom of this subject. We just released a UFO documentary of some of the best cases in history, along with the potential government agenda. Make sure to check that out. It's called The 5%. It's in our playlist here at Checho Talk. But remember, keep your eyes to the sky and be safe at all times and be ready to record. We really want as much footage from you guys uh, as we look into this. Who knows, one day, 
maybe a spacecraft will drop on my front lawn and I'll get documentation for you guys to see it. Make sure you hit subscribe on the way out, like the video, comment on it, share it amongst your friends. We're really starting to build a, a great audience now and we love hearing what you guys have to say. So thanks for watching the videos and comment below. Tell us what you think it is that we saw because we're really interested in that.